Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my tutorial. Uh, I apologize for the last tutorial because I went a little ahead of myself. I really am sorry. I didn't mean to. Hopefully you forgive me. But now what we're going to do next is create our engine class because that's the next major thing that I should have done next. And I don't know why I did not think about it. I feel like really dumb and... But everybody creates mistakes, guys. Everybody does. But there's others that create more mistakes than usual, and that's me. And that is just me. I'm sorry. But let's continue. We can uh, create a new one. Make sure it's a header file, we can call it engine. There's a lot of classes, guys. I know, I'm sorry. But if we want to keep this. Make sure it's in the source. This one's the source. And it's, it's a CPP file. I know all you guys whined last time because I did not do a C++ header for the main file. I'm like, that's not the main reason I created that tutorial for, you know? But whatever. So, I'm going to call it if and def engine h number define engine and we're gonna close it off. And gonna include graphics. And we're gonna call it class engine. There's a lot of other stuff that we can create in this class, but that'll be in the future. Alrighty. So it could be public. I kind of like those off for a second there. Uh, this class is gonna be a singleton, I guess, because we only we only gonna need one engine anyways. So this is gonna be like a singleton type of class, whatever. If you guys know what a singleton is, basically just a class that you only can create it once. That's simple explanation for a singleton. I know it has like a deep meaning and definition for it, but that's a simple definition for it for me. Well, at least to me, that's how I, I understand it. So function, which will initialize the graphics. We call it bool initialize graphics, which we can have the pass it as h domain d. We can need it because we can need it. Create okay, another function, which also can contain another function. I mean, another function, another initialize that will initialize our engine. You ain't gonna be uh, this. Uh, this could be a boy. You could call it ball. It doesn't really have to. It's up to you guys. Either way, it will do the same thing. Okay, we're gonna have another function that will update and render for the engine. So you're just gonna call it void run. As simple as that, guys. Simple as that. Okay. Then we're gonna have for our next function, and that makes every time I write a getter function, I always forget it to put it in the CPP file, which I realized I forgot to do in the in the fun graphics class when we created the other one. So we'll do that after. Hold on. So we're gonna get the graphics. It's a getter for graphics. So it could be like graphics, whatever, blah blah blah, pointer get graphics. So hopefully you guys know what your pointers is. I know it can be a difficult thing to learn. I hate pointers even till now. And then our last function if I spell it correctly will be to release memory. Of course we always can have release memory which is the reason why pointers suck. But it could be awesome if you do it correctly you know. You could pull off so many awesome things with it. So I guess that's the 
the bad thing about it. Every good thing comes with a bad thing, you know. And then, you know what? Uh, does it really matter where I put it? Okay. And then we're gonna grab the single ten for engine. We're gonna we're gonna have the to return our own single ten because we can need it. So we can call it static. Nope. So the function will be to return the function to return to return the the, sing, the single ten for the engine because we can need it or otherwise we won't be able to access it. So static engine pointer get engine. And that's about it for the public stuff. So now it comes to the private stuff, guys. This private, you know, it's just stuff that is going to be hidden from other people. <laughs> so we're going to have the static thing that we can have for engine, static engine pointer m engine. And then we're going to have our graphics pointer. Not the ampersand. Be graphics. Okay. Now we can head off to the CPP. I mean, yeah, the CPP file for the engine. We can uh, make sure you call the object for the end the the single thing object. Otherwise, you can create an error. You can have an error if you don't set it correctly. Engine, engine. Oh, I didn't. I forgot to create the. I forgot. Like always, I forget to do stuff. I forgot to call the constructor for this. Make sure you go back to your header file and call the constructor. You know. And make sure your graphics is null. And then you can call the destructor of engine. Okay, our next one will be the function that will return our singleton. What do you want to? You know what? I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call the other. I'm gonna, I usually like to call initialize stuff first. So initialize the graphics. This function will initialize the graphics. So it was a boolean of engine initialize graphics, which will pass, which has a parameter of H W and D. And you can say M graphics equals new graphics. And you can, uh, I made it simple so you don't have to have like if statements or anything. So you just make sure you just return the graphics that initialize OpenGL. I made it easier for myself so you don't have to create like if statements and all that kind of stuff. You can, you can say if not if it doesn't initialize this correctly you return false and if it does then return true it's up to you guys how you guys want it so i just saved myself creating stuff that i may not need you feel me so our next function which will initialize our engine you know what to make it clear initialize graphics and the opengl Makes things a little bit clearer for you guys. So function, this will initialize our our engine. So it was a void engine initialize, and here by this time graphics is already initialized, so we can. Uh, I mean, we already called new to it, so all we have to do is initialize. 
Wait, did, oh, I actually don't know. Don't need that right now. We're gonna use this later, so I guess leave it there for now. We don't have anything in there just yet, but we will in the future. So, like I said, I always go ahead of myself. I suck for confusing you guys. So the next one will be run engine, well, which, this is the function that updates and renders the engine. So in here, we're gonna call it end graphics. We call it begin scene and Make sure you just render black. Usually it's better to have a black screen or something. I always, when it comes to here, I always like to have in, something enable. Enable GL bland. And then we got GL bland funk. I'm not sure if this, these are deprecating in here. I never tested it out. And then before I was using this, I was using 2.1 and I know it still works at that time. I'm not sure if 4.0. I'll test it out and I'll let you guys know in the next tutorial. But for now, just put it up for now. And if you already know, then you know you don't have to put this up in here. Um, I know 4.0 is actually mostly shader based now, like DirectX. So, GL1 minus source off of, if I find it here. Yeah, it's all the way at the bottom. And then we can, uh, hmm. Like I said, we can, uh, render our scene, which we don't, like I said, I, I'm a, I can be a little like an idiot sometimes. I apologize, but I kind of like go ahead of myself, you know. I apologize. And here is the updates our scene. We, there's going to be a function here that we can include. So it's going to be something in here that will update our scene. And there's going to be another one in here that will render our scene. Which, but we haven't created that class yet. So it's letting you guys know that in the future we'll come back here again and destroy it. I mean destroy it. Um, put it in here. So so let's go to our next function which will release our memory that we have created. Void engine release and make sure gra if graphics was initialized to delete it. But before we delete it, make sure you can release the graphics too, so and then delete it. And just in case. Make sure it equals no. And that's oh we have to delete our engine too. Say if m engine. Of course you gotta remember that guys. He is gonna call delete m engine m engine equals no. Alright, and that's it for our release for this function.